Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenny Milo on the YouTube streets and also on all my social media platforms. If you enjoy my content, please make sure that you join us by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom. And also don't forget to smash that like button because it does help for YouTube to push my videos for more people to see. So on today's video, we are talking about why your budget is not working. So I've done videos talking about how to budget, the importance of budget. But now let's look at if you have been trying to do your budget, but you just find yourself that you feel like your budget is not working so let's just break that down and look at the reasons some of the reasons why your budget may not be working and these are not exhaustive by the way there are many reasons why a budget may not be working so we're gonna look at the few ones that I've identified as some of the reasons why your budget may not be working so when we're talking about a budget we're talking about a tool that allows you to tell you where your money must go so you spend time you sit down and you actually allocate money as per the items that you need to deal with in that particular month so you Look at your responsibilities you look at your income and then you allocate your income to those responsibilities so that is what a budget is but then you find that as you are doing that where you understand your income you understand your responsibilities and you allocate money into that you still find yourself that you are not in line with your budget or you find yourself overspending on some of the categories within your budget the first reason why your budget might not be working is because your budget is not goal driven what do i mean by goal driven so each and every month if you have seen me i spend time Time to actually sit down and set goals beginning of the year that's exactly the same thing that I did I sat down and I set financial goals for myself as well as each and every month and I break those annual goals up into months so that I know what I'm working towards and so when your budget is no is not goal driven it means that you are just setting a budget for the sake that you need to set a budget but it does not speak to the desired life that you want and so what you need to do is you need to sit down and identify figure out what is you what do you want in your life what what kind of life are you working towards or what kind of life do you want for yourself especially Especially looking at the financial aspect of your life so look at what kind of life do you want for yourself are you currently drowning in debt and the kind of life that you desire for yourself is to be debt free or to pay off majority of your debt set that as a goal that I want to pay off debt and then what you then do is you use your budget to then become a tool to allow you to work towards this thing and so when you set a budget J randomly just because it's something that has to be done each and every month but it does not speak to the goals it does not speak to the life that you desire for yourself it's very easy to find it as a tedious process where you just do not understand what is the point of this but when you attach a goal to your life and then use your budget to then drive you towards that goal you find that it is enjoyable to set a budget and you understand why are you setting this budget because you understand what you're working towards so for me there was a time went by I was very clear that okay I want financial peace in my life and understood that okay for me to achieve financial peace it means that I need to deal with majority of my debt and then once I've dealt with my majority of my debt I needed to then save and invest towards an emergency fund and so what I did was I used my budget to then be the driver of that life or of those goals that I had set for myself and so what I did was I channeled most of my income towards paying off debt once I was done with paying off debt I then make sure that each and every month I'm prioritizing saving towards my emergency fund if every month I set a budget and I do not have allocation for emergency fund in my savings it feels like there's something wrong that I'm doing because then my budget is not speaking to the goals that I've set for myself if I set a budget and there are no savings at all in that month it feels like there's something wrong that I'm doing because it's then not speaking to the desired life that I want it's not speaking to my goals you know and so what I'm asking you to do is look at the goals, look at the life that you want. Think about the life that you desire for yourself financially. What do you want? Do you want financial peace? Do you want financial freedom? Do you want, pay, do you want to pay off your debt? What do you want for your life? Once you understand what you want for your life, use your budget to be that tool. So you cannot say that you want you want financial peace ne? you want financial peace but in your budget you have no savings whatsoever the only thing you're dealing with is just your expenses you're paying for your expenses every time that is the only thing you're dealing with but no savings your budget is not speaking to the life that you desire it's not speaking to the goals that you have set for yourself that's why you end up feeling like this budget is not working for you because that budget on its own it is not directed towards working towards your goals and so sit down and figure out 
what are the goals that you want for yourself when it comes to your finances then use your budget to be the tool that allows you to work towards this you would find that there's to a certain extent you feel like your budget is doing something for you the second reason why your budget might not be working is because it's not practical to your life right now so there's so much theory out here when it comes to personal finances like with anything there is theory theory of systems that do work and systems that have worked also in the past and that, that continue to work for other people however whenever you want to adopt a system it needs to be personalized to you and so you find that you are setting a budget because you have had that okay this is the best budget to do like the 50 30 20 rule type of budget you have heard that okay this this is the ideal budget that you have to do and so you go and you copy and paste that in your life but then it's not realistic to your life and your circumstances and so you need to make sure that when you're setting a budget that it is realistic to you as well as your life circumstances as much as there's so much information all this theory that is out here that is out here talking about budgeting and the best budgeting methods it's very important as, as you it's very important that as you adopt one of these methods into your budget that you make sure that it is applicable to you that it speaks to your life it speaks to your life conditions and circumstances right now so that you allow the budget to actually facilitate the kind of life that you desire but if you're just gonna take a budget a simple template budget that is out there and then come and paste it on your finances you'll find that it will not work for you because it is not practical to you and then you'll be asking yourself how is it that I'm not able to do this how is it that I'm not able to save how is it that I'm not able to push this it's because it's not practical to you the most important thing when it comes to your budget is to understand your income understand your income because this will help you to understand how far your resources can reach in terms of the things that you can do and things that you cannot do then once you understand that you then prioritize based on your goals and say okay this is what I want for myself and then you make sure that that is where your focus is going when it comes to your budget and then the other things will also be there but you cannot just take a 50 30 20 rule and just put it in there and then say okay 20% must be at my expenses 20% must be my savings 30% must be my must be this too it needs to make sure that it speaks to your life right now so I really encourage you to do that because if you copy and paste some something that someone else is doing like right now when you look at my budget it's not something that you can copy and paste and say you're gonna do in your budget and that is why when I post about my budget some of the questions people get confused with why are you budgeting for this why are you budgeting for this it's because it is tailor-made to me it is a personal thing it is my budget that speaks to my life and so it's very important that as you're adopting a budget system that it is speaking to your life most importantly also that it aligns to it works towards achieving the goals that you have set for yourself the last reason why your budget might not be working is because you do not have systems that allow you to implement your budget so here's the thing a budget is a tool that allows you to tell you tell where your money must go however there are other parts that need to follow or other systems that you need to now adopt in your finances in order to then in order to make sure that this tool that you have set is fully implemented and so if you just set up a budget and say okay this is where I want my money to go but then after you have done that you forget about your budget you don't you don't go, you don't go back to it you do not have systems that allow you to stick within your budget you will find it frustrating to budget because because every time you budget you will find that you are not sticking to your budget or this budget is not working and so you will end up giving up and so as you are budgeting understand that it is not the end and be all you still need other processes or other systems that will allow you to strengthen your budget or basically implement your budget as you have set it out and so what I do for me is I have a payday routine. A payday routine for me is an implementation of my budget if I set my budget and forget about it it's just a, 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 a plan it's just a plan nothing nothing is gonna come out of it but for it to be in, but for it to give me outcomes and outputs I need to make sure that I implement it and so what I do is every payday I sit down and I pay for the things as per my budget I pay for things on time I make sure that I'm allocating money to my savings and all that other stuff it's very important to have a payday routine because it allows you to implement your budget and also what I love about the payday routine also as well is when you're setting a budget it is planned 
it is your plan this is what you plan even your income sometimes you may think you may find that it is planned or desired income but it's not your actual income even with your expenses your savings these are the desired savings that you want to do or these are the planned savings or planned or expected expenses however you still need to implement it now so that is where the payday routine comes in and that is where the second category of the actual actually comes in that sounded redundant so it's very important that you have a payday routine because then now you know you're no longer gonna have an expected income but you're gonna be working with actual income and so now you are looking at what did I actually receive and then now you start paying for things start allocating money and that becomes actual and that is where you are able to see any deviations if you were if if what you had planned was less than what was actually paid or was more than what was actually paid that is where the budget becomes very interesting because now you are able to see that okay according to my plans and the actual part what was the deviation what was the reason for the deviation and are there and is there anything that I need to improve or anything that I need to do in order to beef up any part of your finances you may find that okay you have a desired income but then you get when you when you look at your actual income it is much lesser and that's making it difficult for you to meet some of your responsibilities and so what you then will look at is what what can I do where can I find substitute income to kind of beef up my to kind of beef up my current income so that I'm able to deal with these things but if you set a budget like all oh, your expected what what desired income what what and you forget about it and then when it's payday you just go with the flow you will find that you cannot your your budget does not help you in any way it becomes a fruitless activity and so you want to make sure that as you're sitting down and you're setting a budget that you actually pull that you actually implement it and you implement and you implement it by actually doing a payday routine yeah another thing when it comes to your budget also is you need to set up system that allow you to avoid over expenditure this was my biggest problem for a long time whereby i will sit down and i'll say okay this is how much i'm willing to spend on this and then when it came to the part of now actually spending the money that i have allocated i'll find that i'm spending more i'm spending on other categories so I understood this to be a problem of mine but for a long time I didn't know how to go about fixing it until I started implementing a cash budget system so what I did was I identified the problem areas when it comes to my over expenditure things that I find myself overspending on even when I've said that this is how much I want to spend on and then I focused on those in terms of allocating cash on it because as I'm spending the cash it, it becomes a reminder to me that this is how much you have left now this is how much you have spent and so just be weary of that and so that is why i love the cash budgeting system and this has honestly helped me to avoid over expenditure in my problematic areas not everything can be used like not everything needs you to use cash on but there are certain things when it comes to your finances where that you find that okay as much as i've said that i want to spend a thousand here i find myself having to spend five one thousand five hundred which was not allocated for that and so find a system find a system that will allow you to stick to your budget and avoid over expenditure there are things that sometimes it cannot be avoided to overspend on based on what came like, let's say for instance you let's say for instance you budgeted to pay for electricity a certain amount and then the bill comes it is more that is something that you cannot control there's something you cannot control but what you do is on the following month you make adjustment as per the spending of this month you do not continue with the way that you have been budgeting where you are under estimating but now you look at the previous month and then you estimate for the following month so that way it is informed by the previous month ne? and then the last part is planning for the entire month most of the time when we are setting a budget it only focuses on the payday it does not focus on the entire month that we still have to leave and this is something that I'm gonna continue to stress because this has also been a game changer when it comes to my finances and finding that my budget actually works you know because now my budget is not just for when I get paid but it is for the entire month and so you need to find a way whereby when you sit down and you plan for your finances that you don't only focus on paying for things as you got paid and going and buying things as you get paid but you look at the fact that you still have three more weeks to leave leading up to payday and your budget must reflect that and so what you will do is you need to introduce 
reduce weekly allowances or weekly allocation within your budget as an item and then you break the finance you break the amount as per each week and so maybe you start from the second week third week and the fourth week or you can do it bi-weekly but it's very important that your planning must look at the entire month and not just about when you get paid because when you do that what you'll find is you will budget for when you get paid but then as you are spending and as you are paying for things you still have three more weeks to leave then you find yourself in the second week that you are broke or you find that you have limited resources now you have things that have finished in the house you have things that you need to buy but you do not have resources to buy those things because your budget did not think that you still have three more weeks to go that there are things that you might need to spend on during the month and so you need to be weary of that all the time when you're budgeting that okay I I've got four weeks to leave in this month how can i make sure that i optimize this income that i have or this budget that i have to make sure that it caters for the entire month and not only when i get paid and for me one of the things that have helped me to do that is just weekly allowances or weekly allocation where i allocate money for each and every week this allows me to make sure that my budget speaks for the entire month instead of just the pay day so those are the three reasons why your budget might not be working as i said this is not exhaustive you may find that there are other reasons why your budget is not working but i'm not going to get into everything that is out there because some of the reasons are specific to each person but i just wanted to highlight this ones because these i feel like are some of the common reasons why some of our budgets are not working i hope that you found value in this video if you did please make sure that you smash that like button and also let me know when you look at your budget and you feel like it's not working what are some of the reasons that you think it might not be working so i'll see you guys on the next one please take care and stay safe bye